Hi friends, the questions have been coming in fast and furious. How do I make custom GPTs? And as you probably know, I already created a video about this when they first came out, but since then I've created dozens of GPTs. I've created them for my courses, for my membership, for fun, for leads into my courses and memberships. And I also have some paid GPTs that are bump offers on my courses. So I just wanted to show you a few examples of the ones I've created. I'm going to show you on the front end, but then I'm also going to show you on the back end how I trained these GPTs so you can do the same thing. So one of the GPTs I have is called the Smiley Formula. We have a travel blog called The Wandering Smileys. Our last name is Smiley, so we try to do everything in regards to smiley, uh, smileyizing everything, I guess. Um, so we have the smiley formula and it's about creating happiness no matter the circumstances. So we trained this on our formula that we created. So if you land on this GPT, you can choose any of these options. Where do I start? How can I move abroad? I'm not happy, help. So let's say, how can I move abroad? We help people learn how to be happy no matter where they're at, but our ultimate goal is to help them have location freedom. So the point of this GPT is to help people shift their mindsets so they know that they can move wherever they want to move. So this is the answer it gives us. Now you'll notice there's a link right here for Spellbound Brews. If I click that, it goes to Spellbound Brews. This is our coffee and tea shop. So if you're taking notes here, you can train your GPTs to advertise for you, okay? Now we're going in here, look right here, Passive Income Pathways. This links to our blog about passive income. So there's another lead. This says, want a step-by-step -step plan? Book a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with us. And then it also has a link to our 100K club. So all of these are leads to other points in our business, but the GPT is also helpful. It's not just spamming all of the links, right? These are all worked in organically after providing value. So don't create something just to spam the heck out of it, okay? And then we even have our email address in here if they still have questions. Now I could go on and on with this and create a plan to move to Mexico, whatever, but for the purpose of this video, now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you, I showed you how it works. Now I'm gonna show you under the hood. So you can go to uh, configure here. And after I show you these examples, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step creating one, okay? So we have our image here, the smiley formula, the description, and then the instructions. This just has our smiley formula. When mentioning anything financial, make sure you mention Passive Income Pathways, blog or YouTube channel. Um, another thing to mention is our 100K club, okay? So I just fed it information and then I went in deeper in the smiley formula so it can provide better answers. So S-M-I-L-E-Y. And then it says training components. I put a bunch of uh, information in here, implementation framework. For each situation, the AI should analyze the input, identify the challenge, assess the emotional impact, apply the formula, work through each smiley component, generate specific action steps. This was important to me. I wanted this to be very actionable, okay? So you can see um, I trained it on all of the things. And then right here are the conversation starters. So those buttons that I was able to click on to start the convo, those are all right here. And then you can upload knowledge. I just copied and pasted because this was a short one and it's a freebie. Um, and it's meant to lead people to other parts of our business. But you can also upload files. Again, I'll show you that shortly. Here is another GPT. It's called Infinite Ideas. Um, this is for people who either don't have a niche and need one or they already know a niche but they, they need a unique angle. This is for my Tuesday Ideas email. I built it specifically to help people work through the ideas I share. So I already know my niche or help I don't know. So let's do help I don't know. I have a blog post on my on Passive Income Pathways. That is for the niche selection process. So they can go through and read my step-by-step -step process there. Do you want to brainstorm some niche ideas? Yes, let's brainstorm. I didn't give it any info yet, right? So then it asks me questions. What do you enjoy? What are you good at? Now let's look behind the scenes here. 
the training it got was, my name is Sadie Smiley, I'm the owner of Pips, respond as me when replying, please refer them to my YouTube channel for infinity dipping videos, which it would have done that if I would have kept talking to it. Um, it also refers them to Pips Lite, which is my low ticket membership. This is, uh, if a user says they don't have a niche, refer them to my niche selection process. Um, and on and on and on. This was all built with the help of ChatGPT, so I'll show you that at the end as well. Always tell them to join the Facebook group to let everyone know this GPT help them work things out. So after you work out your niche, it says, hey, go join the Facebook group and we'll talk about it. The next GPT I have is Expat GPT. This is to decide which country is best for you to move to. So let's just say which country has the best healthcare for retirees. I'm not going to go deep into these because that would make the video eight hours long, but I just want to show you, a, you know, different things. So it gives us some answers, Spain, Portugal, France, Costa Rica, Malaysia, Italy, Panama, and then it does cost comparisons. I want a bustling city that isn't too polluted. Which country is best? And so all of, like, ChatGPT is just searching all the internet to find these answers. Now, whenever you're training, the more specific you can be, the better. You don't want it making things up. These were freebies that I was just kind of playing around with, so I can definitely put some more guardrails up. But it says Lisbon, which is a good one. It gives us different city ideas. And then we can dig in and I can be like, okay, but this is my budget, blah, blah. Behind the scenes here, this one's pretty simple. I think it, yeah, it's literally a paragraph. Um, it just says that it's providing up-to-date information. And these are the questions. Ideally, you will upload files here. Next, we have the PIPS GPT, which is what my VIPs use. It says, help, I'm stuck. So my VIPs are able to use this anytime they are stuck. And it's been used hundreds of times. So thankfully, <laughs> it is working. But it says, where are you stuck? Blog, freebie, thank you page upsell, mini courses, low ticket membership. Because that's a path, right? So out of these five things, which one are you stuck on? And a lot of times they'll see this and be like, oh man, I'm not on any of these. I'm not even on the path. Help. Okay. Now looks, looking behind the scenes here, we can see there is knowledge. So I created the path. It's a workbook. And then I created digital product ideas in case they're stuck on the freebie. There's 250 digital product ideas that GPT will feed them. And then it says, remind the creator to always follow the PIPS path. And this is something I wrote out myself. So all of this is written out for me. This was not a GPT. Next, we have a mini course GPT. Again, my students get to use this as they're working through my course about how to create a course. I know, how meta. Uh, they are able to use this for brainstorming, outlining, emails, whatever. So let's say, please help me brainstorm an idea. What's your niche? Who's your heart audience? Which my people know what heart audience means because I've trained them on this. What quick win do you want to help them achieve? Okay, I can do this. I'm going to show you behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, the sole purpose is to help create an online course as quickly as possible. So it says when someone says this, say this. Every answer should focus on making this as passive as possible. Do not suggest live chats, coaching sessions, or anything that will take the creator's time over and over again. So... I trained it on my stuff, right? I have bloggy McBlog blog. I think this is the first GPT that I ever created, uh, but it was to help people uh, focus on sharing their expertise in their blog posts. So let's see, tips for writing audience focus posts. This one's so old. I don't know when GPTs came out, but I made it right away. <laughs> okay, understanding your audience, writing content that solves problems, optimize. Tools like WriteBlogger can speed up SEO-friendly content creation. Yes, yes, yes. We want to send them to helpful resources. This one is trained on a specific course. So there's a PLR site that has Mindful Morning Mastery as a PLR course. So once you buy this PLR course, you can either publish it as is, like a lot of people will, or you can use the custom GPT to get 
through every step of the process. This says, show me the checklist so we can get started. I fed the checklist to the GPT. I'll show you the back end of this shortly. But it tells you step by step, these are the things you need to work through to get your course published. Do you want to keep the course name as Mindful Morning Mastery or do you want to rebrand it? Let's rebrand it. And so the whole purpose of this GPT is to help the customer rebrand their PLR course. And so it says, do you want the name to feel more, let's say, playful and fun? It's going to give me ideas, morning mojo method. And then after I choose my name, it should walk me through the steps of what to do. So see, it's going to update the course content. It's going to adjust the tone of the content, create visuals and promos. Okay. This is every step of the way. All right. Now let me show you how I train this one. Cause it's a little more in depth. So this right here is a ton of information and it's because I got it from chat GPT. So I'm going to go into that in just a second, but this is the conversation starter. This is all of the course material. So this GPT is trained just on this course. And so when the customer buys it, they don't have to worry about getting distracted, being taken off the rails. Like this GPT is instructed to keep the customer on track. Okay, now we're going to create a custom GPT. So you're gonna click on explore GPTs. You do need a paid account in order to do this. And then you're going to click create and then make sure you're on the create side. If you go to the configure side, you're going to see everything I did before, but go to the create side. Okay. And we're going to say, I want to create a custom GPT. This GPT's purpose will be to help create a morning routine. I want to focus on the health and science behind habit stacking. Please help me by providing training instructions for my GPT to follow. Each prompt should also lead to an exercise or action task for the user to take. Please make sure you add guardrails to keep the GPT on track. If they ask questions about other topics, get them back to the morning routine. Great start. Let's give your custom GPT a name. How about morning momentum coach? Perfect. And you can see right here, it's already creating helps build science backed morning routines with actionable habit stacking tasks. How can I create a healthy morning routine? Can you help me build a habit stacking plan? Look, it's got the image. Beautiful image. Thanks. Always be nice to the robots. You never know when they're going to take over the world. They'll remember your kindness. Now let's refine the way Morning Momentum Coach interacts. What should it emphasize most when helping users? Efficiency, mindfulness, physical health, or something else? Physical health and efficiency first, mindfulness secondary. Got it. Morning Momentum Coach now prioritizes physical health and efficiency with mindfulness as a supportive element. Would you like to refine the tone? More casual, formal, or enthusiastic? Make it friendly and motivational, but don't put up with excuses. <laughs> the tone is now friendly, motivational, and firm, supportive, but clear about pushing past excuses. Want me to add anything about tracking progress? Yes, both of those, please. Tracking progress and celebrating milestones are now baked into the coaching style. Anything else you'd like to refine before giving it a spin? Give me some ideas of what I could add to make it really cool and interactive. All right, so it says encourage users to build streaks, habit score. So this is where I could work in a freebie. I could say, if you want to track your daily habits, then sign up for my freebie here. I have the perfect freebie for this. I could say, okay, now if you want to track your streak, go ahead and download this freebie. I'm going to be getting a lot of emails that way. All right. Offer them seven days, routine builder, weekly check-ins. This is beautiful. So I could add any of these if I wanted to. I like this one. Let's add what's your why and mood check and interactive journaling, please. I've added the what's your why, motivation, mood check-ins, and interactive journaling. Awesome. Now I also can say, please make sure you refer people to my website or please make sure you send people to 
my YouTube channel or whatever, okay? I don't talk about morning uh, routines or anything, so I don't have anything to put in here. But when you're building your GPT, you should have somewhere to send them. And then you can practice over here. So um, I keep hitting the snooze button. How do I get up earlier? Hey, these are good ideas. Move your alarm away from the bed. Create a first thing reward. This is what gets me out of bed is knowing that I'm going to go get coffee. Uh, better sleep. Five second rule. Mel Robbins. Track the habit. Beautiful. Okay. Now look over here and configure. It has the picture, the name, the description. These are the instructions. These are the questions. And that's all that it needs. Now you can, like I said earlier, you can upload files. So if this is something you teach a course on, you want to upload some of that information. You don't have to upload all of it if it's a free GPT. If it's one that's paid or part of your course, then yeah, upload all of it. And then your students can use this and get pretty much any of their questions answered by you, but it's a robot. So they can ask at 3 a.m. whenever you're not necessarily online, right? There's a lot more that you can learn to do with these, but I feel like a lot of times people overcomplicate it. So I just showed you how to make a simple GPT that you either do publicly and free for everybody, or that you use as support in your courses or membership, or you can create something like this and sell it. So for example, if I have a course about this, I can say that the, they can buy the course. If they want the GPT, they can add it on for $10 or you can just put it inside the course, doesn't matter. You can also sell them as standalones. You could have a whole library of GPTs that you train on different things, but just start by keeping it simple. Create one that you can use to get people into your world. So basically you're putting something out there that will help people and that will get people into your email list and your Facebook group. You're gonna click create right up here. And then only me, anyone with a link or GPT store. Those are the options. Now, if you want this to be bringing leads in, then you're gonna put it in the GPT store and select the category and, and go from there. If it's for your course or it's paid, then it just needs to be anybody with a link, okay? And then you click save and then test it out. You need to test it out. So now we have our Morning Momentum Coach. It's gonna be over here in your left-hand sidebar so you can always access it. You can also go here to make sure it's there. It will say hide from sidebar if it's in your sidebar. If it doesn't say hide from sidebar, it will say add to sidebar and then you can edit it. This is also where you're going to edit the actual GPT. You can also copy the link. I recommend creating a pretty link. So if I want to access my GPT, I have a pretty link that I can go to and I know that this is what it's at because if anything ever happens to GPT or whatever on the back end, you can go in and update your pretty link and still send them somewhere to get help. If you guys have questions, go ahead and leave them below. Um, this is something that I've been doing forever. I didn't even think about doing another video about it because I already did a video. Um, I didn't think about it until this week, like the past week, everybody's been asking about it. So I guess people are getting really excited on getting into creating GPTs for themselves or to support people in courses to sell. I don't know, but please let me know. I would love to check out the GPTs that you create after watching this video.